So your dream is to teach English in Japan, but you're not quite sure where to start. Well, this guide's for you. What's up guys, my name's Lin Yun, and in today's video, I'm talking about how you can get a job teaching English in Japan. Before we continue, I'll leave links to all of the information I'm gonna be talking about below. So right off the bat, what you need is to have completed 12 years of education in a native English speaking country, along with a university degree. The degree can be in any field, but as long as it's from a native English speaking country, you'll be fine. And then the second thing that you need is to pass a police clearance check. This is done by a federal police agency in your home country. For example, in Australia, it is done by the federal police. So you've got your university degree, now you can start the job search. Oh, hey, future Lin here. I've just realized in doing this edit that I forgot to mention about teaching qualifications. You don't necessarily need a teaching English to speakers of other languages or a teaching English as a foreign language, a, a TESOL or a TEFL qualification per se, but I'd highly recommend that you get one. Teaching in Japan can be competitive, so having the upper hand with a qualification like a TESOL or a TEFL would be advantageous. I myself have a TESOL qualification. It's an advanced diploma, and I'll leave a link in the description below to the company that I used. Mine, of course, is an Australian company. If you aren't Australian, there are several other options, and by doing a simple Google search, you should be able to find something suitable for your country. Okay, back to you, past Lin. So there are a couple of different routes that you can take in teaching English here in Japan. They are ALT or assistant language teacher jobs. They are fully fledged teaching jobs at elementary schools, junior high schools, and high schools. These are done through either the JET program or through dispatch companies. Oh, pause, sorry, just one more time. Another way that you can get a job as an ALT, which is quite a bit harder, but not impossible, is through the BOE, the Board of Education. Now this is usually reserved for people that have got previous ALT experience and are in Japan. And pretty much it's a matter of who you know. So as I mentioned, it is a bit harder, but not completely impossible. If you do know someone that works for the BOE, you may have an in there. Something to bear in mind is also the Japanese school year and the hiring periods. So in Japan, Japanese school year starts from April and then it goes to March. So the hiring starts around the start of the year. January, February is when you'll start seeing job listings for an April start. So this applies for both direct hires through the BOE and also dispatch companies. As for the JET program, the hiring starts around October for an April start. It's a much longer process and it involves the Japanese embassy. You submit your paper application in October and you may receive an invitation for an interview around January. And the interview can take place in your home country around late January, February. If you pass that, you also have to pass a physical checkup and a drug screening. I believe that may also apply to the BOE. I'm not 100% sure on that one but definitely for dispatch companies, you have to pass a drug screening. Okay, let's continue. Some of the well-known dispatch companies for ALT work are Interac, Altia, and Glad. I'll leave links to all of these companies below. So with ALT work, you can either apply directly with the companies through their websites, or you can apply through a website called Gaijin Pot. Some of the ALT dispatch companies recruit from overseas, others don't. To apply for a job, you usually have to send in your CV or resume, photograph, and also a demonstration lesson by video. Interviews may be conducted via phone or Skype. And the other route that you can take is through Eikaiwa work. Some of the most well-known Eikaiwas are ECC, E.ON, Peppy Kids Club, Berlitz, Gabba, and Nova. Like ALT work, some Eikaiwas also allow you to apply from overseas. Again, the application process is pretty much the same. You send in your CV, photograph, and do a demo lesson. Again, interviews may be conducted via phone or Skype. I've previously made a video about the differences between ALT and Eikaiwa work. I'll leave a link in the description below and also up here. Gaijin Pot is kind of my go-to resource for anyone looking to get a job here in Japan. That website has job listings for all over Japan. It includes Eikaiwa work and ALT work, and a lot of the listings are also for the smaller private Eikaiwas. Something to bear in mind with a lot of the smaller schools is that they don't offer visa sponsorship. 
One other website that you could use for private students is called Hello Sensei. So this is primarily for private students. It's a one-on-one -on -one tuition setting. So that's all for today. My name is Lin Yun. Thank you so much for watching. This has been how to get a teaching job here in Japan. If there's anything that I missed or anything that you'd like to add to this, please leave it in the comments down below. As part of Vader, I'll be making a video every single day in April. So be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.